The mass murderer Rosemary West was moved to the top security jail in Durham today to begin her life sentence behind bars. The jail already houses the Moors murderer Myra Hindley. ITN's Robert Hall reports on the sort of life Mrs. West can expect and on today's other developments in the West case. 300 miles from Gloucester, Rosemary West en route to the prison that will be home for a lifetime. She spent most of her time on remand in the special unit at Durham, recently refurbished to house some of Britain's most dangerous female prisoners. In another of the 48 single cells, filmed recently by Tyne's television, Myra Hindley is serving her life sentence. Rosemary West will be under constant suicide watch and guarded for fear of attacks by other inmates. Rosemary West has spent her first... In Gloucester and throughout the country, the headlines have charted every detail of the horror, a first opportunity to tell the story in full. Royal Robinson needs no such reminders. He'd travelled from Germany to see for the first time where his daughter Shirley had died. Murdered whilst pregnant with Fred West's child. For a time she'd regarded Rosemary West as a friend. I just couldn't realise that this could happen, you know? not in, in such a community. Well, my thoughts on Rosemary West is that where she is now, she should stay there for and she should, she should live a long life, yeah? and she does live till about 90, yeah? so that she remembers every day yeah? the more she lives, yeah? and, uh, that what she's done is... Uh... Speculation over further victims, perhaps buried at this mill near Gloucester, or at this well-used public car park, haunts the inquiry team. Peter Bastome, whose sister is still unaccounted for, says the investigation must continue. I would hopefully uh, think that the police would not shelve it now, and I don't think they will. I'd like them to carry on and, if you like, go into phase two of the investigations. Late 20s, and she's five foot nine. More than 50 people have so far rung in to help identify nine women missing since the 1970s. Whilst welcoming the public response, senior officers are stressing tonight that until they have firm and reliable evidence, no search operations will begin. Robert Hall, News at 10, Cheltenham.